Hi guys, it's Tristan from World English School. Um, today I'm going to be drawing this cat from the book David Gets in Trouble by David Shannon. And as you can see, this cat is in a state of shock because David is pulling on its tail. And he's saying, but she likes it. <laughs> so I've already set up the paper here. And uh, I'm going to try to do my best to get the paper in the picture as well as the book. So we're going to try to do that together. Let's focus on the paper right now. I'm going to try to make it easy for you too so you can kind of see how to do it. Okay? So um, if you are if you have the book, David Gets in Trouble, then it's about, I don't know, halfway through the book you can find this picture of the cat. So yeah, we're just going to, I think we're going to start with the cat and then after we draw the cat, we might try to draw David too. We're just going to try to kind of play it by ear and see how well we do. So let's go ahead and back up the camera here a little bit, and uh, let's uh, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with the cat's head. So I'm using uh, just a fine-tipped pen here. This is a black pen with a fine tip, as you can see. And this is the kind of thing that David Shannon did in his book. You can see there's kind of a black outline around his drawings. So I'm kind of using the same idea. Okay, I'm gonna start with the cat's head. So we're going to use this whole paper. Um, so we're going to imagine that there's a line in the middle. And we're going to kind of try to do it the same way. So let's do our best. Okay. So the butt of the cat hits about halfway. So we're going to keep that in mind. This is about halfway in the paper right here. So we're going to keep that in mind as our marker. Okay. Okay. Let's start. Okay, we're going to start with the shape of the cat, the basic outline. And I think what I'll do is I'll draw the basic outline first. So why don't I start with the head? So we're going to start right here. Okay, so I'm going to come on in here and see if I can show you. Okay, so I'm going to start with the outline here. Good luck. <laughs> this is the most dangerous point of the drawing when you first start. Okay, I think it comes down about here, and then we're going to come down here, and then we've got our first foot. And this is tricky. This one doesn't have many reference points, so that's what makes it hard. Okay, good. Okay, I've got the first part. Let's go ahead and draw the belly of the cat. So it looks like David Shinnick kind of came around here. And then he comes up around here. It's not too bad. And then we're going to come up right here. Okay. And I'm going to wait on the head. But you can see I have the body. So I have the body of the cat here. Let's put this here. Yeah, that's the basic idea. It looks like, oh yeah, see my paper is a lot smaller. If you put my paper on top of here, you can see it's a lot smaller, right? So what I have to do is I have to kind of reduce reduce the size. I can't make it I can't make it the same size. It has to be a little bit different. So that's going to be a challenge. Okay. We'll do our best. Okay. So let's bring it in again. Okay. So we have the body of the cat. Next up I'm going to do a leg here. I'm going to go ahead and do both of the back legs. Okay. There's a leg here like that. And then the paw kind of goes around like this, 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 and then there's kind of a claw here, and it goes around like that. Okay, that's like the two back feet. Okay, let's go ahead and do the front feet now. I drew the line all the way through to the chest of the cat, but I think it's okay because we're going to put a leg here. Again, David Shannon goes through his lines a lot. So we don't have to worry too much about that. Okay, we're doing his um, front right leg right now. I come up right here. <laughs> this is going to be a funny cat. Okay, <laughs> this looks like flowers there. All right, next we're going to do the front leg here, front left leg. Okay, this one kind of extends here. It's really hard to get the proportions correct. If you're drawing these pictures, you have to translate the size to a smaller piece of paper, probably. 
That's the challenge, I think. Okay, there we go. There's the four legs. What do you think? Is that pretty good? Is that a good comparison? It's not bad. Yeah, it looks it looks similar. Okay, now I'm kind of worried about the head. I already came up right here, but it looks like maybe I needed to come up a little bit further. So we're going to see what we need here. It looks like his mouth, the jaw, starts at the same line as his back. So maybe we should start with the jaw. I'm going to start with that. So actually, let's put that right here. That way you can see both. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the the lower part of the jaw here. Great. I'm happy with this so far. I never know what's going to happen. Okay, let's go ahead and... I have to remember it's going to be a little bit smaller because, of course, the paper is smaller. So that's the reason. Okay, now the nose. Wow, this is tricky. Um, here. And I'm running out of space, but let's add that nose here. Okay, that's okay. I'm telling myself it's okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We see the mouth there. It looks similar. All right, I'm going to go ahead and draw the part of the tongue at least. It comes out from the mouth right here, and it kind of disappears into the darkness of the mouth. Okay, and then we've got two teeth, one here and one here, the canines. And then the lower teeth are kind of under or above, I should say, a tongue. There's a tongue. We've got a tooth here. David is a good artist, David Shannon. That's good. That's pretty good. I mean, it looks like it. Looks like a cave painting <laughs> as compared to this one. All right. Um... I think at the same time I'm going to draw the collar because I kind of want to give myself a reference point. So we're going to start here. We're going to come around here. And we're going to end it there. That's about right. Okay. Again, it comes a little beyond here. Okay. And there's the cat's collar. What do you think? Is that a pretty good, pretty good drawing of the head? It's not too bad. Okay, let's go ahead and, um, so again, this line here, I came up too soon. So this time I'm going to, I think I'm going to start drawing the head now. There's, if you can see, there's a kind of circular part to the head here, kind of almost a circle. So I'm going to kind of use that. Maybe it's not ruined here. I can do this. I'm going to go ahead and draw the circle of the head. And that starts about halfway in the mouth is where the circle starts. So right about here. And I'm going to go ahead and bring that around. Okay, I see. It's going to be like this. And it's going to connect right where the nose is. What do you think? <laughs> it's not too bad. Okay, now we'll do an ear here. Right there. Nice. And then we'll do another ear here. This one's a little bit more curved down to here. Okay. Not too bad. There's a little line in the ear right here. I'm going to go ahead and draw that. Okay. There. There it is. There's the outline of the cat. What do you think? Looks looks like the cat. <laughs> a little bit different. Um, next thing I'm going to draw is the eye. The eye is about at the very end of the first ear. Okay. And it goes like this. It's kind of a little bit like... There we go. Okay. And then there's the pupil, and a cat's pupil is different from a human's pupil, isn't it? Looks like that. All right, that's not too bad. A little bit more curved maybe here. What do you think? I mean, we got it. We got the right idea. Okay, let's do the nostrils. Kind of looks like David's nostrils. This one's off to the side a little bit. Nice. Okay, now I'll draw the whiskers. We got four whiskers. First one goes about like this. I'm gonna draw it lightly. It goes on to the nose area. Okay, second one is about like this. It's not too bad. Third one like this. And then fourth one kind of goes down like that. Okay, great. And then we got some whiskers coming off this one too, but we can't really see those. I put newspaper down under here too so that the pen doesn't soak through. Okay, the only mistake I made was this line right here. 
but I, I think it'll be okay. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some of the details. So I'm, I'm gonna get to the tail next, because you see David's point on the tail. But this is what I have. <laughs> what do you think? It's not too bad. It's not awful. It's not perfect either. Okay, we're gonna do the claws now. I'm gonna start with this foot here. Little claws like that. I am not a professional artist, and I don't pretend to be. Oh, we got one more here. And um, if you do this yourself, oh, I did the, did the wrong foot. That's okay, so it looks the same. Um, if you're doing this yourself, you really don't need to worry about being perfect. Just give it a try. That's the point. We're just doing it for fun. Okay? Just like that. When, I, when a cat is scared or attacking, it extends its claws. They have retractable claws, which means they can put them out whenever they want. And I guess that the cat, being so scared, has extended its claws. <laughs> If you ever scare a cat when it's sitting on your lap or something, it'll do this to you. It'll extend its claws and grab you. Okay, on the back paw here, I'm seeing that we forgot one toe, which is right here. So I add that toe. You can always come back and change things later. There, and there's the claws of the cat. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I like it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and um, weight on the colors. I guess we could add a few hairs. There's a few black hairs on the sides of the cat's legs. Um, you ever seen a scared cat before? They Their hair gets all poofy. Hmm. It like poofs up like a, like a puff ball. So that's what this cat is doing here. His hair is standing straight up. I'm just adding a few hairs. There's some on the back leg here, some on the belly. Just little tiny hairs, little details. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm enjoying this, doing the cat. Okay, there we go. I think we're gonna, we're gonna stop there for the body of the cat and we're gonna move on to the tail. And I think for this part, I'm gonna move this over to here. So now we're looking at the butt of the cat and we're looking at David David pulling on the tail. So we're gonna start by drawing up to David's hands, or should we start with David? Maybe we should start with David and then connect them. Remember I told you before, and I showed you that this halfway, right, of the paper is where the cat stops, right before the halfway point. So David's taking up about half the page. So we need to look at that and Let's go ahead and try David. Okay, I'm gonna keep the cat on the paper here. And David's head touches the top of the page. And it comes down about a third of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw David here. Just a big round circle for David. Okay, that's okay, not bad. His head gets cut off at the top there, okay. We're not gonna worry about David's smile right now. We're gonna draw his body now. David Shannon just used an oval. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Kind of an oval that's tilted on its side. That's not too bad. Let's hope. <laughs> All right, next, let's do David's legs. So his waist is just a semicircle. But um, actually, that's part of his body. So we're just gonna draw a line here like that, and that's gonna be his belt. And now his legs are a little bit more tricky. We've got like an oval and an oval here. So we're gonna go ahead and draw his his right leg, and that's gonna connect kinda of like here, like this. And then it's gonna come down like this, and then his leg is curved under, okay? And then it goes like this. Great, like that. That's not too bad, I guess. And then we've got kind of an oval shape for a shoe here. It's kind of tucked under. So let's see. His other foot is, he's sitting on it. So it looks like this. That's his other foot. Now this foot goes about like this. That's the idea. Okay, and then his shoe is like this. Great. Then we're gonna put some treads on his shoe right now, like that. Okay, 
That looks okay. It's not perfect, but it's okay. His other leg goes like this, out like that, curves under like this, under like that, and then connects here, and that's it. Those are his two legs. And we're gonna see the color later on. Right now it's hard to see, but I think later on. Okay, I'm gonna start with his right arm here, and it goes up like this, comes down like this, stops about right there. There's the end of the sleeve. I'm gonna put that there now. Okay, now his arm, yeah, this is about right. Okay, his arm reaches under like this, and it goes up like that. I see. Okay, and then we're gonna get kind of a nice curve here. That's about right. Like that. Can you kind of see what I've done there? That's not too bad. Okay, let's go ahead and do his other arm before we draw his hand, because I want to see where this stops. His other arm goes like this, and it goes like this. So it's like two lines here. Okay, and then another line. Now the cat's tail comes through his hands, and I should I should probably draw his hands now. But you can see I have the basic shape. So yeah, do you see how I've done this? I'm basically doing shapes. The cat was kind of hard because I had to follow the shape. Um, but David, yeah, that's just a big oval. Like, if you look at David Shannon's drawing, he has a little bit of an oval here, like that. So it's just an oval shape here. It's basically a circle here connected by lines here. And then his legs are just like pencils. David Shannon's body, or David Shannon, um, David's body is an oval here, a circle here. So it's just shapes is all it is. If you can use shapes, that's the right idea. Okay, let's go ahead and finish his hands. I think we're doing okay. Okay, let's start with his right hand. And that one is going to go like this. Okay, I'm just kind of trying my best here. Okay. Good. Three fingers, basically, kind of four a little bit, and then up like this and around. Okay. There's his uh, right hand. Okay, and then we're going to bring this line in like that. Again, we're over overlapping the lines, which is fine. Okay, let's do his left hand. Um, we also need the cat's, t oh man, look, the cat is lower than David, but in this picture, the cat is the same level. So now we have to, <laughs> now we have to bring the cat's tail up. <laughs> Let's draw his right hand first, or his left hand first, and then we'll bring the cat's tail up. Okay, so there's a finger here, 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 and here, and then his thumb is like, over here, okay? It's always hard to draw hands. I heard somebody say one time that a great artist can draw hands very well. That may be true. Okay, the cat's tail comes through here like this. That's the end of the tail. And then I'm gonna curve it down to the butt of the cat because in this picture it's straight with in, um, in line with David. But my picture, it's not straight, as you can see. The cat is here, and David's up here. So I'm going to have to curve the tail up, which is going to be tricky. I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. Ah. <laughs> is that going to work? Let's draw a part here for the tail. And then let's draw it down here, connect here. How's that? Yeah, I mean, it, it still looks OK, right? Can you tell that David's holding on to the cat's tail here? Okay, and then let's bring his arm down to here. Yeah, okay. And then one more thing is the part of his arm that goes here, there. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's not too bad. I, I can see it. I can see the connection. Obviously not perfect, but it's okay. Okay, let's do his neck. Line here, line here. My necks are sometimes too long on huh, David. That's okay. Next up, 
We're going to go ahead and do stripes on David. He always has a blue striped shirt on. So we're going to do a stripe here, a stripe here, a stripe here, and a stripe here, and a little bit up here. We'll start with this bottom stripe, and we're going to put a line here. This part's easy because it's just lines. Okay, put a line here. That's about right. Okay, next up, we got a stripe here. So we're going to start here, here. That's about right. And about right here. Okay, and that kind of lines up with the stripe on his sleeve, which is here and here. I wonder how this is going to turn out. <laughs> okay, we don't have this part much. We have a little bit for his chest. And then we've got the lape. I think that's called the lapel. That part here comes down like this. And then it kind of curves around like that and up and down here. Great. And then we have sleeves on his left arm. Going to stop here. And then we got a stripe here and here. And I know David Shannon is not really using lines here, black lines, but I'm going to use them because I need them. And then his, uh, yeah, I finished his right arm. Okay. Okay, he's got some lines on his pants. So here's his belt. Well, it's not a belt, but it's kind of the line of his pants here. We're going to do that lightly. Okay, he's got belt loops here. And here, here's the zipper button, okay? Let's see, a little bit of lines here, and a little bit of line here, okay? Creases, good. We've got a pocket here, okay? We've got a back pocket here, good, okay? Um, let's see, his shoes, his socks, we gotta do his socks. So let's go ahead and put a line here. Great. This part's easy because it's like you're just putting in lines. Okay. There's some a few lines on his shoe back here. I don't really know what these lines are, but that's fine. Put those there. We're going to do the colors later. Great. I think it looks pretty good. We've got the texture of his body. It certainly looks more like David now than it did before. Don't you agree? It certainly has that. There's one thing I miss is a button right here. There's a little tiny button right here. I like that. Little details. Okay, I think we're good. We're going to do his face. Let's uh let's bring the camera in a little bit. And let's do David face. All right. So, we're going to start with his ear. And we have to get the proportions correct cuz if I do it the same size as the picture, it's not going to translate to my drawing. So, we're going to start with his ear here. That's okay. That's about right. Okay, let, why don't we do his mouth next? Okay, it starts at the bottom half of his face, um, less than halfway down, and it stops about halfway into his head. So right about halfway and about here. So we're going to start about here, there. There's the bottom curve. Top curve is a little bit shallower than the bottom curve. Bring it up about here. What do you think? Yeah, it's okay. Why don't we go ahead and do his nose? His eye is about halfway up, isn't it? So it's about right here. Um, but I'm going to do his nose first. So his nose is about here. And it curves around like that. Kind of comes off his head. Yeah, I'm going to do his nostrils now. And one little one here. Okay, there's his nose. Not too bad. Okay, his eye goes about right here. Okay, it's a little different. That's okay. It's hard to do the same style. Eyebrow is a bit crossed. You can see it's a cross shape. So we're going to do an eyebrow like that. Okay, I don't have room for it. The hairs should be up here. I can put them on the newspaper. <laughs> but... I don't have room for the hair so much. I could put a little bit here, maybe. Okay. And now I'm going to draw his teeth. He has five teeth in this picture. Let's do the top teeth first. One, two, three. Great. Okay, let's do the bottom teeth. There's just two of them. Kind of a bigger one here. And then we got a pointier one right here. Great. Okay. There's his face. I think the hardest part about David is the face, because it's the most expressive. But I think I did okay. 
Any more details on his face? It's just shading, isn't it? And then some coloration here. Um, but there's not a lot. I could add a little bit of like this to his eyes. Like, <laughs> he looks a little bit crazier in my picture, but that's, that's okay. Okay, I think we finished David. And let's uh, go ahead and pan out here, zoom out a little bit, and let's take a look at what we've created. We have David pulling the cat's tail. And that took me about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Not too bad. I'm pleased with it. Um, should we, before we color it, should we do the background a little bit? I think before David colors things, I think he's finishing the outline first. I'm not sure, but I think we should go ahead and do the background. So that means the lining of the wall here and also maybe some of the lettering. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with, why don't we start with the lining here? I'm gonna do that first. Okay, so this one goes all the way behind David and it comes all the way past the cat and on the other side of the cat. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. I'm not gonna use a, I'm not gonna use a straight edge. I'm just gonna do it the best I can. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there and let's see how I do it. It goes through David's neck, and then it goes along his arm, and then it goes to the back of the cat. I'm gonna just do it like that. I'm gonna do the best I can, okay? And it's pretty thick, it goes like that. See how I'm doing that? Just the background now. Okay, I'm gonna kinda keep it stable there. Line here and a line here. There's the runner. Okay, and it has also another uh, secondary line here. A little bit lighter maybe if I can. Like that. And then even another one at the top. Try to keep it real light here. Okay, there's the background. That's part of the background. And we'll see that better when we... Um, when we color it in. Okay, there's one more thing here, the socket. So let's put the socket. I think I can do this on the book here. It goes like this. David Shannon likes to draw sockets in his books. He has a lot of them in David Goes to School too. Okay, two circles here for the plugs. Do a little plug here, a little plug here. Okay, and then some lines here. Like that. Okay, that's the socket. Great, okay. Anything else for the background? That's it for the background. It's just that one line, just that one part here. So now we're gonna draw the letters, but she likes it. And in order to do this, I am going to use another piece of paper, put it on the book, because I, I don't wanna get the book messy. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this here, and I'm gonna write, but she likes it. Okay, let's see, can we do this? It's gonna go, but, she likes it. Okay, I have to get the spacing correct. Let's start with, I'm gonna use a thicker pen too. I'm gonna use this end, a little bit thicker. Okay, here we go. But, right by David's head, B. Okay, I'm gonna be careful on these letters. Uh, I have to really be careful with these letters because I don't want to run out of room. B U T. But, good. That's nice. She likes it. It goes over here. She. I'm trying to do the same style of lettering as David Shannon. It's kind of hard to do. She. Yeah, we're good. Likes starts at the middle of the cat's back, so we're about the right place here. Likes. There we go. It, we got it, we did it. It's a little bit scary to do lettering. I used to do a lot of lettering when I was younger, and I remember always having a problem with the spacing of lettering. There we go. And look, it's a good thing we used this because it came through on the page. So be careful when you do that. But she likes it, he says. 
And we've got the whole picture. We just are missing the colors. But isn't that, isn't that nice? I like it. Okay, I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have to add this color. I think for the color, I can use one of two things. I have, where did I put my lid? Here we go, put your lid back on. Um, I have different choices for colors here. I could use the pastels. I could also use colored pencils. I have some colored pencils. Um, so the question is, what do we want to use for the coloring? Maybe we can use a little bit of both. So maybe I can do some stripes here using the, the pencil first. I'm gonna use orange. I'm gonna go ahead and do some stripes. There's a stripe here. I wanna kinda of get a guide before I start. Okay, stripe here. This is a orange cat. What is it, an orange tabby? Okay, stripe here. I heard, I read somewhere that orange cats are the, some of the friendliest cats. Is that true? Maybe you've had that experience with orange cats. Okay, and then there's one more line here. Okay, those are the kind of stripes on the cat. We've got a line here and a line here, here and here, here and here. I'm just giving myself a little guide. The tail has some here. My tail goes up, but that's okay. Another stripe here. Okay, those are the stripes. And then he has a bit of a white belly. Comes down here. And then a bit of a white chest too, which ends right about here. Okay, and then it comes up to the mouth and it stops about there. Okay, so these are our guides. I don't know if you can see that or not. I drew kind of light lines so that I give myself a guide for how to draw the color of the cat. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Okay, let's try that. We're gonna go ahead and start with the color. I think we could use, we could use pastels. The problem with the pastel, and I have, a ni I have a nice orange here, but the problem with the orange is that it's a bit, it's like, I'm afraid that if I do it, how about this? How about we do a uh, pencil, this pencil here, for the lighter orange, and then we use the pastel for the darker orange. Let's try that. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep in mind, like David Shannon, again, is a professional artist. So his art is, you can see like there's blending and kind of like, it looks really nice the way he did that. I'm gonna do my best. And I wonder if you can do this too. If you ever try, I'd like to, I'd like to know. I wish wish you could tell me. But I'd like to know if you if you can do this too. Are you able? If you do try, make sure and show somebody because it's hard work. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and do... Yeah, we can do more dark lines later too. Again, right now I'm just going to go ahead and do my best. Okay, so I'm going to color this all light orange. That's going to be a dark orange up there. I'm using the tip of the pencil. If you have a longer tip, you can lay it flat and kind of do like like this style, you know, like that. But I've just got my pencil's a little bit dull, so I'm just going to do it like this. Okay. Oh, this part here, a little bit darker. I'm going to go ahead and do that later. I'm not going to use colored pencil on that. Okay the butt of the cat here. Okay, it comes down here a little bit. I did a pretty good job lining out the stripes. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's, you know, it works, right? I think one thing I didn't do was like separate the feet. You see there's kind of like white feet on this cat. So I think we should kind of separate that. David Shannon kind of blends it, but I'm gonna just draw a distinctive line. And I also forgot one thing here, which was lines on the head. So let's go ahead and draw one here. There's a stripe there, and then there's a stripe here. And then actually there's one more right here, bit of a smaller one. And then 
The white part is the nose, around the nose, and the bottom part of the jaw. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just color most of the head orange, just like the rest of the body. <laughs> this cat is scared. There's a couple lines up here too. Why don't I do that and that? Looks like even the ear has some stripes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that too. And then I'm gonna do this, and then maybe a little bit of pastel up there. Oil pastel. That collar is a different color too. So we're gonna color that purple, because we got a purple collar. And look at this, we got a nice, oops, a little bit too heavy there. We've got a nice uh, color to the cat. Nice orange there. Okay, now let's take the pastel and we're gonna use that to fill in the darker colors. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. This is how it looks. It's definitely darker than the, um, than the um, pencil, the colored pencil. I forgot to do the tail. That's okay, I'll come back and do it. Okay, look at that. Does that kind of imitate? It does, a little bit. It's, my, my dark stripes are a lot darker than the colored pencil. That's one problem. But I need to get a di difference in oranges, so that's why I'm doing this. And I'm just coloring these in. Give this a little bit more of a point there. Okay, and then the head up here has a few, doesn't it? Here is a stripe. Here's a stripe here, and here's a stripe here. Okay, and then I was gonna do a little bit on the ear up here, a little bit of darkness there. Maybe a couple stripes here, little small ones there. Okay, and then down here, we've got two stripes here and here. And then we're gonna get the parts that we missed. So we missed the leg here. We got a couple, oh no, I got them, I see it now. I just forgot to color it in. Here, here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit there. Here. Okay. Okay. When you draw a cat, it gives you more appreciation for how these animals are, are built. <laughs> they are kind of neat animals, cats. Okay, let's get that, let's get that. A little bit outside the lines, but it's okay. It's just like David Shannon's drawings. It's a little bit messy. All right, there we go. That, what do you think of that? Let's get a little bit here. This one was a darker color, this whole leg. So I just kind of wanted to do that all dark because it's kind of in the shadow behind the cat. Okay, make it a little bit messy there. That's good. Okay. I mean, you know, it definitely looks different. My cat looks different, but it's the right idea for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and fill in the tail. That's one thing I didn't get. Here, here, and here, and then these dark stripes here. And these ones are just stripes. They go all the way around the tail, maybe. That's pretty good. Not bad. Maybe let's do a little one here. I like that. And then um, there's one stripe on the back of the tail here, two stripes. One here, one here, and then another one here, right here, here. Okay, let's go ahead and, oh, do the pencil first. Here, here. When you're drawing, it's nice to listen to music. I like to listen to music. Sometimes I play it in these videos, but today I'm just wearing headphones. There's our cat. Yes, I like it. That eye, I want to do the eye right now. It's a bit of yellowish, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. I can change that a little bit later too. But I like it just now. Look at that. What do you think of my cat? My main goal in this picture was to draw the cat. So now let's draw the collar. The collar has little patterns on it. Um, they're little diamonds, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw purple. So I have a purple, I'm gonna use a colored pencil for this. And I'm gonna draw, what should I do here? I'm just gonna draw the whole thing purple because those details are difficult. And then afterwards, I think I can go back with my black pen. Here it is, my black pen here. 
And I can draw some of these details. So let's see if I can show you here. You can see, grab my extra piece of paper so that I don't get the book dirty. And then we've got, see these little diamonds on the necklace, on the elite, on the collar. It's called collar. So let's do this. We got like a little buckle here. And then we've got a little clasp here. And then we've got little diamonds here. Diamond here, diamond here. We got three, di four diamonds on that side. So like one, two, three, four. That works. I mean, you know, I'm not going to do it just like this because that's really detailed. And I don't, I don't know if I can do that. Okay, next thing I want to do is color that tongue red. And I think I'm going to use a pencil for that one. So I'm going to use a red pencil. I'm going to go ahead and color that mouth red. Let's zoom in here. And then this one, so it's a red color. And it's also red on the, t on the lip a little bit here. And I'm going to make it a little heavier because I want a darker red. Okay, and then we've got black. I'm going to use a pencil for that too. This is a black here, or is it a blue? Yeah, that's a black, okay. So we're gonna do just black for the mouth. And it kind of curves around the tongue like this. Like that. And then the, the tongue kind of disappears into the mouth. And we keep those teeth white. And we've got a nice black background here. I like that. <laughs> nice. It's pretty good. Not bad at all. Okay, cool. Well, we're pretty much done with the cat. As you can see, the cat looks different, but it has the same feel to it. What we're going for is we're going for similar feeling. We're not going for exactly the same thing. So, our cats are different. My cat's looking a different direction. Looks like it looks at us. This cat looks like it's looking kind of up. <laughs> and then the paws are a little bit different, as you can see. Different positions. But again, it's it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay. You think I should continue or should I stop there? What do you think? This has been pretty good. I was My goal today was to do the cat, mostly the cat. Um, I guess we could do a little color on David if, if you want. We could do his shirt. Um, let's get this paper here. Be careful of your book if you're doing this on top of your book. I'm going to go ahead and do that blue for his shirt. Let's do a little bit more. And if I get tired, I'll just, I'll just stop. And then we got this blue up here. So this can actually blend. That's a nice blue. David always wears the same clothes, doesn't he? He's always wearing a blue and white striped shirt with those red pants. I think I think in one or two pictures, he's like wearing a bow tie or something. But yeah, most of the time it's these clothes here. Okay. And then let's do this stripe down here. Make sure you're coloring the right color for the right stripe. Because if you make a mistake, you can't erase it with pastels. Okay. There. It's pretty good. I'm trying to be as careful as I can. It's not bad. Okay. And his pants are like a darker red. Is there... Oh, there's more stripes here. There's a blue stripe here. And then we forgot his uh, lapel. Lapel? What's it called? This part here. This is blue also. Get in there. Try not to get out of the lines. There we go. It's pretty good. Cool. Okay. His pants are a reddish, and I think we did that. We did this last time too. I have a brown. This is a red here, but I also have a brownish color, and this is a brownish here. I think this brown might be a little bit better for his pants. Let's see. Zoom in a little bit. Okay. We can also mix colors. The pastels are really nice to blend. Yeah, that, that, that brown looks nice. I think I might put a little bit of red in here also. But let's start with the brown. 
and try to get in the lines here. Come around here. Okay. And those black lines that I drew show up a little bit through the brown, so it adds some texture, which is nice. Okay. We can kind of come onto the other leg here. Sometimes I just want to draw as messy as I can, but I don't want to draw out of the lines. Okay, all his pants are just brown, so can I just cover up everything? Did that work? Yep, that works. Okay, look at that, looks pretty good. It's a nice color. It goes all the way up to the belt. This is all, the button is white, so we don't want to hit the button. Okay. Don't, don't get the button. Okay. There we go. Pretty good. What do you think? Is that good? Yeah. Okay. I think we should add, I'm going to add just a little bit of red. So I've got this red here, I think. Yeah, see, it's it's better with this red, too. I think it just adds to the color, and it makes it look a little bit more like the color in the picture. Got a little bit out here. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Maybe get some of that white space there. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. Uh, the problem is it's a little dark. So you can see the lines are a little bit harder to see, but I think it's all right. His shoes are white, and there's a little bit of green around his socks. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of green here, a little bit of green there. And there's even a little bit of yellow around his, at the cuff. What do you call this? The top of the sock, the hem or whatever. Okay, so I put some yellow there. Okay, so that's David's uh, shirt, and his skin tone, I remember this last time we used this color here, and that's, this one we might use with a little bit of yellow. This one's broken here, but that's kind of a tan color. So we're gonna use that for his skin. Okay, so we're gonna do that here. And that's a, that's a good base for his skin. When you're coloring, you can sometimes mix colors and get a different kind of color from it. Crayons, it's a little bit harder, but pastel especially, you can get different um, combinations of colors, which I really like. Okay, look at this. Isn't that nice? Nice color there. It's a little bit too light. His skin tone is a little bit darker in the picture. All right. Cool. Look at that. Get some of those extra spots. We're gonna have to get his face too, but I think I just wanna see if I can get his finger and his skin tone the way I like it first. A little bit of yellow. You see how that kind of changes the quality? It also adds a light to it, a reflect, a reflection, because he's in his home right now, so like the, the light is bouncing off of his arms. So you can kind of see that when I add this yellow. It's not too bad. Looks pretty good to me. What do you think? Is that pretty good? And it looks weird now because his face is uncolored. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do his face now. You know what? This time I'm going to start with the yellow. Let's see what that does. If I start with the yellow, be careful not to get his mouth because we got to do, that's going to be a black color. Um, if I start with the yellow, it might add a good base. I'm not going to do it too thick either. Okay, I got this paper down underneath here, so I don't have to worry about, I'm just gonna color onto that paper. Cool, there we go. Okay, that's a nice yellow. <laughs> he looks kinda sick now, <laughs> David does. What do you think? <laughs> a little bit sick. <laughs> Let's get some of this in here. I'm gonna use this side of it. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. I'm gonna get a different tone, different skin tone as compared to his arm. It's a little bit yellow, more yellow. But actually, I kinda, I think the putting the yellow down first is a good idea. All right, there we go. I think for right now, that's pretty good. 
I'm just kind of smudging it a little bit with the pastel. A little bit down here for his chin. Looking pretty good, David. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I think what we can do also when we come back, if we came back to it, is we could use a little bit of uh, pencil and maybe like a tan color. Let's see, like this one maybe? This is like, you know, just add a little bit of texture. Um, something that David Shannon is doing also that I, that I haven't done in my picture is, uh, let's use this, this is a black here, a little bit of shadowing. So if you look at the back of David's head, he's got some shading here. So like, especially down here. Yeah, see how I'm doing some shading here? That's a bit more difficult, but it already kind of looks better. If you do just a very light shadow and even under his neck, see how I did that there? That adds some kind of depth to it. I'm not very good at it, but that's the idea. So I'm not gonna do too much of that because I'm afraid I'm gonna mess up my picture. Okay, let's go ahead and do some black for his mouth. And for the black, I'm gonna use a pen. Okay, make sure stay in the lines here, not to go too heavy. Is this getting through to the book? Gotta be careful of the book here. Okay, do the primary lines first and then get around the corners here like that. Beautiful. We could even do David's eye and his nostrils with this black pen if we wanted to, but I think we're okay right now. Okay, kind of match up the lines here. Make sure it looks like it's all connected. There, what do you think of that? That's a nice dark color. Beautiful. Okay, we're okay. See that, see all those spots on the paper? That's where the pen came through. Okay, here he is, there's David. That's a pretty good drawing. I like that David Shannon did some shadowing on the shoes. I think on the shoes, I'd like to do a little bit of shadowing here. Like that, see that? And also over here, a little bit of shadowing. That way we can see that they're kind of in the darkness more. Okay, great. What do you think? I think it's pretty good. So the only thing we didn't do was the coloring in the background. Here, let me zoom out here. So there it is. There's our drawing so far. And shall we compare it to the real thing? Here we go. What do you think? Yeah, it's not too bad. What do you think? Are you going to be able to do this if you try it at home? Do you have this book? David gets in trouble. That's not too bad. The coloring in the background um, is a dark green for the top. And... It's also uh, yellowish for the floor, and I could do that pretty easily. But I think I might keep it right here. I kind of like it the way it is. So there we go. I think I'm going to stop there. What do you guys think of that? Did you like that? I like, I like doing the cat. The cat especially was what I wanted to do. So this is from um, David Gets in Trouble. And this is the part where David pulls on the cat's tail. But she likes it! <laughs> and uh, we've done a few other drawings too. So let's take a look at the other ones. This is from Grow Up. Yeah, Grow Up, David. We did that one. This one I tried to do in 10 minutes. That was a fast version. This one was It's Christmas, David. This one we took a long time on. This was the first one we did, which is No, David. And this one we did in 10 minutes. This was a speed drawing, Grow Up, David. And then this is also from Grow Up, David. And then this was my worst one <laughs> from Grow Up David. <laughs> it's so messy. But that was fun to do. That was a this was a this was a speed drawing here. So you can do um you can do a speed drawing, you can take your time, like this one. You can do the background. Like I did a little bit of background on this one. I did all the background on this one, right? And then on this one I did most yeah, I think I did all the background. There's the floor and the wall. It's hard to do the background, but it's fun. This one, we did just the lines of the background. There's the electrical socket, the, the runner of the floor, and there's not a lot else in the background here. So yeah, give it a try if you want. This was David Gets in Trouble, and that was the cat section. 
And uh, maybe next week we'll do some more. I think tomorrow, actually, I'm going to do uh, Oops. I think it's Oops, David. Is that right? This one here. I'm going to do, or was it Oh, David? We got David Smells, Oops. And yeah, I think I was going to do this one here. Oh, David. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. So we're going to do like, <laughs> maybe that one. <laughs> what do you think about a, a poopy diaper, David? <laughs> Look, there's a skunk on there. So maybe we could do this one tomorrow. What do you think? There's a lot of cute pictures in this one, baby David. But yeah, maybe maybe a poopy diaper. That'd be fun. Let's try that tomorrow. So um, yeah, join me tomorrow if you can. And um, if you like the videos, please do like the video and give me a thumbs up on the on YouTube. Subscribe, hit the bell, and give me a like. And I'm going to give you more David videos. So thanks for watching, guys. And let's look at our picture one more time. This is what we did today. Here it is. Not too bad. Thanks to you guys watching, I'm able to do this stuff. So stay tuned, and we'll do another one tomorrow. And um, I think in a little while here, at in 30 minutes or an hour, I can't remember, I'm going to be doing a video of Spy Fox, which is a really fun game, and it's Spy Fox 2. I'm starting a new game today, so stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching. Have a good day, guys, or a good night, <laughs> wherever you are. Bye-bye.